One of the things we really emphasize here at the Egypt Center and also throughout this collaboration with Harrogate is the accessibility of objects and getting them out of boxes on shelves and in front of the people that need or want to see them. And one of the um, great things, but also issues with objects is that over the course of their lifetime, they end up with a lot of different numbers. And so in addition to the objects from Harrogate, one of the main things that we wanted was also the documentation that goes along with it. Um, and that came in the form of a, a lot of different things. So some of that is going to be, um, this case in particular is a letter from a previous scholar at the Ashmolean in Oxford. It's dated 1964. And so this letter itself is going to um, tell about some previous research that was done to an object. The same object, which I will show you in a minute, also has a card with some, some photographs on it. And then we have things like, this is a photocopy of the original catalog from the Kent collection. That includes the handwritten descriptions as well as the numbers um, that Kent assigned to them. And in some cases, it also has an annotation of the number that Harrogate has given it. So that's extremely useful. Um, but the problem with these paper documents is they often end up in different rooms, uh, different folders, some will be in filing cabinets. And so one of our goals is also to digitalize all of these things and put them back together on the website with the object that they refer to. So every object itself has a little bit of a different combination of paperwork involved. And one thing I wanted to look at specifically was this object here which is referred to in the documentation largely as a choker. It's uh, you know, a rather small necklace, so it'd either go on a small neck or it would be quite close to the body. And it's actually a um, Edwardian assemblage of 17 different antiquities. So this is an interesting scenario in which we both get to document its history as a necklace or a piece of jewelry, but also the 17 individual antiquities that are um, included on it. And so this came with a lot of, a lot of interesting documentation. It's had um, interest over the years. And one of the things it did come with was the impressions. Um, this isn't a practice we do any longer, but somebody in the past has imprinted all of these scarabs and scaraboid objects into the clay so you can actually see the different marks on them and that we are adding to the documentation on the website. Um, so speaking of the website, you can see here that we've included the necklace here as its own individual item, but also then each piece from it is here. And that's really because they need to go to different specialists. So this includes everything from New Kingdom Egyptian scarabs, which date around 3,500 years ago, to um, Roman, Etruscan, Phoenician, all the way up to 100 AD. 